Lucky! Microsoft updates, rarely, but it has happened in a, in a very rare occasion. Extremely rare. Maximum. Det är inte bara för storm mode. Vi ska spela till lite dunkens. Uh, 
Yeah. I was talking about the the guy that comes up and comes in for him.
No, 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 I'm in the mission. Because yeah, we should put the inspect for that chef we wanted. He just give him what he wants, get our reward. Three 
Troublemakers. Troublemakers. Super fast. The temperature act. Just a little more. Wait, then we can pass it off to go more of the plan. And we use one Oka Oka to grow more. Alright, I was also being a sink or something. Wait, where did you get something into water from?
Yeah, we had no thing here before. I'm pretty sure we didn't have a distancing long time. No, I would say, yeah, just hurry home.
We don't want to break him. Oh wait, it would be the most sterilized on the quick turn, right? You don't stare up on the engine, it's just made about mine. Let's hurry home and get our reward. to be like 30 seconds remaining. Yes, I was getting worried over your easy destruction -ness. Give us enough reward to do that. Ah, 
And they have a lot of mail to read up on me.
<laughs> oh no, not yet. Exactly. He walked. Hmm? What? Are you mean I've been talking to myself? Well, that's been 40 minutes of talking only to the gear. Hello, Loxana One. Thank you for notifying me of that. <laughs> so. Yeah, like I said at the very start of this stream, Windows Update. I think that is all I need to say to explain all of that. Now I just want to give you a hug. But yeah, Windows updated and that screwed up with uh, my recording software and with my earbuds. So yeah, let's see, what were we talking about uh, in the last uh, letters? We were talking about the uh, the Gordo, the one we fed, the another one we found, there's a Tabby one somewhere else. And... Hmm. Oh yeah, you also made a new kill, you realize you have the mixed uh, red slime with the boom slime yet. Yeah, I, uh, was, I was thinking about mixing the booms with the rats, but uh, yeah, I mixed them with the crystal instead. I, and yeah, Mochi Mouse, basically a, a billionaire's brat, from my thinking. And this this uh, has a bit of an MLM slash pyramid, well, most MLM multi-level marketing uh, companies are pyramid schemes. Uh, yeah, this sounds like that one of those of that to me yep. and yeah. yeah because because i've been chatting at only you for 40 minutes so we continue so we extend today with uh 50 minutes 30 minutes i'm okay with that but it is a pleasant relaxing game yeah okay the big storm casey i got your mail of course i remember that day i feel like that was when you and i really connected it was raining so hard that the streets were flooding and we took shelter in that cafe. It was like a scene from a movie, only we both looked like bad animals. And the guy running the shop was a real tyrant. The only way we could stay inside was by ordering one coffee after another. I felt like we learned more about each other that day than ever. Maybe it was the coffee because we were both talking really, really fast. I told you about my dreams, making music and all that. At least that's how I remember it. Walking home when the rain came back, you got closer to me and my heart was racing. But I couldn't blame that on the coffee. Okay, yeah, so no. they... Hmm. Hmm? 
so yeah, th this it it does sound so it is hinting strongly at uh, Casey and Beatrix here, possibly or likely being girlfriends. Yeah, a sweet pair even. For for a moment, okay, there was that was just a bit of angle work. I walked here, spotted the ornaments over there, and I thought one of the crystals got free again. <laughs> Uh, there. Anyways, the reason I've left these plots out uh, beyond just uh, being unable to uh, carry more of them is to see if they will despawn or anything. Because, well, 35 for these, that is a really low price. Wait, what did what the silo for? The silo is for storing st and stuff. Alright! So I not... Hmm. We can put one up here. Because I don't remember if you can store multiple things in one or not. Okay. Or is it just going to store multiple stacks of that? Actually, we need something else to compare that with. So... Okay, the floor collector hasn't activated yet, so get back in there. Let's see. Really accept this? Nope. Is there an option to add additional storage? Up to four plort ports and four ports for storing plorts and resources. Okay, so this does allow us. Okay, yeah. So when a price of one of the plorts is low, uh, uh, up two. So we have to buy. We buy one every time. Okay. So now we just wait until the price of those goes back up. Puddle slimes are doing uh, good at the moment, so we could build a pond here, but we'd need to go get some first. Anyways, what was I talking about at the start as well? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sort of setting a, a soft goal to get every type of slime in here. Yeah, and we probably should also finish the story, so there is the story. Yeah. And, oh, yeah, you, you better not forget the quest. The brother wants us to get it. The brother wants us to get it. Yeah. Uh, is there a way for me to shake these loose, or will they come out on their own? I think earlier we saw the fruit laying at the ground of that tree. So yeah, I think they will fall free after a certain amount of time. For a moment I thought one was on walking underneath me. And still a few missed out on dinner. Okay, just... Let's see. Maximum yield, yes. And sprinkler. Oh, we're we're six short on that. Okay, sorry, little guys. For a moment, I thought one of the mirrors was very angry here because it was flying in front of the fire. Yeah. And oh, I just remembered. We're gonna need rat slime for the mushy girl. One rat slime. Yeah, and, and this rock. slime. And what is rock slime? All right, you yeah. see. Rock and rads. Uh, only fifteen. Uh, might as well. Rock and rad. Rock and rad. Uh, let's see. The heartbeats were the favorite. Uh, Oh, no. No, uh, no, 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 no
<laughs> yeah. Uh, am I back on stream? Because I got a notification that the stream disconnected there. Oh, for love of... Hmm. In the stats it says it's still reconnecting. It's not an internet issue because I can still hear you. Alright. Hmm. Uh, Luxana, can I... Is the stream still on? Hmm. Okay, there's the reconnection. Uh, yeah. I got a note for... Okay, that, that is useful. OBS now gives a connection once the... Con uh, well, the connection... That it, it gives a notification when the stream has disconnected. Okay. Yeah, that could have been costlier. Or, well, that, that could have been a lot of me talking against nothing again. These aren't grown yet. Well, in this case, both of us talking against nothing. <laughs> but we talk yeah. to each other than one else, sadly. <laughs> okay, let's put you away quickly. At least I have some help from the viewers. Yeah. If, uh, if I can't see them. <laughs> Go join your friends. We have to find some other plant that we can throw over there. You go back into the playground. Oh yeah, let me better not forget the rat lines. But it's really quite decent to gra uh, quick your grab, ain't it? Uh, yeah, there should be some rocks over here as well. I believe this goes in deeper. Yes, it does. Okay. Then it's just a case of uh, waiting for them to find something to eat. Or we just feed them ourselves. Okay. Okay, they don't yep. like the potatoes. Okay, the oka oka. Yeah. And not the one I was aiming for, but okay. Yeah. Okay, and these are for you, and you, and you, and you. Okay, nose is itching for me. Yeah. Hmm? Nose was itching there for a moment. Yeah. Want me to eat because rats is for you? No. Sure. Right. This should be enough, and we'll, we'll have to keep an eye on if the rats, if these plorts skyrocket in uh, price or value, would probably be a better word. Oh, extra food for you lot, and <laughs> just <laughs> in and run with that. Let's see. Also, uh, her getting info from her dad about what is going, how the market is going to change. Yeah, yeah that's considered uh, mar insider trading, and that is highly illegal because it's a form of fraud. Lots of fruit. Oh, I love fruit. Yeah, for my people, I eat fruit daily. Basically, like, I have a like, Three days of my meals uh, a day, I actually have a fruit and a dessert. Let me take a quick check here. Rocks are... Fun. Those are... Booms. We already have. Crystal, veggies, and there's a lot more slimes to go. Hmm. Maybe we should mix the rock slimes with these guys. For now, though, feeding time. 
Holy crap! Some of them are getting angry, I think. I like pigeons! Like when you throw a thing that all the birds just swarm over it. Yeah. Okay, uh, might as well upgrade this one like we wanted to. No need for a scare slime since they are meant to eat from these. Okay, and still more to go. Uh, we could mix the rat slimes with these guys, make them even more luminous. Great Mochi's Manor. Unequivocally the most amazing place in the far, far ranks. Wait, we... Okay, I didn't know we could visit other ranches as well. Okay. Alright, so we finally decided to... So you finally decided to show up. Since we're already running short on time, I'll get right to it. You're standing in one of my many estates at the edge of the Nimble Valley, which is the only known home to the very rare, rare, rare Quicksilver Slimes. Everything you see here is my property, which means that I alone profit from all the Quicksilver uh, reports that the Nimble Valley produces. Brilliant, I know. Yeah, we're going to steal a few. Harvesting Quicksilver plorts is very difficult and only highly skilled pro ranchers like myself can manage it. But I'm extremely busy since I've got a ranch to manage and a ton of these miles tech business... Um, a ton of the miles tech business back on Earth to run. So I need you to get in there and do it for me. Naturally you'll be compensated, we want you to be a happy little worker bee after all. So yeah, she can't do it. Pay attention because I don't like to repeat myself. First, you'll notice that I've augmented that junker of a backpack you have with some cutting edge miles tax. This, this never leaves the valley, so don't get excited. This augment will activate using patented miles tech anytime you try to enter the Nimble Valley. It'll swap out your back tanks too, but don't worry, you won't lose the junk you had in there. Okay, so we can take them out. Next, take the teleporter to the Nimble Valley and get to work collecting Quicksilver plots. I'll explain things once you get there. Let me give you a quick rundown. Quicksilver slimes in the Nimble Valley lie dormant until you activate the generator to send out a pulse and get them moving. But this generator only works for so long and then needs to recharge. Quicksilver slimes eat electricity and since they're super fast, the only way to get it to them is to blast them with a tasty spark shot from your backpack. Okay, so this is basically a sort of you no, know, horde mode me game. Oh. But don't worry about actually collecting the plorts. I've got the Valley Rigrid Miles tag that will collect them for you. After the generator shuts down, head back and deposit the Quicksilver plorts here, and I'll be sure you get paid. Yeah. When he talks, so for every 10 Quicksilver uh, plorts to deposit, I'll give you a cut of the profits. Collect enough of them for me, and I'll give you an even bigger reward. We'll start with what I call Mochi's Extra Mile, which is me. Sometimes yeah, it's giving you the inside scoop on a more lucrative port price. Just don't count on it all the time, we're not friends. Okay, so we can use this to get insight on what price will go up. Now get out there and collect some Quicksilver plots for me, and if you're feeling like you really know how to shake it, try the other teleporter for an even trickier part of the family. Or don't, because you know it would be hopeless. Later, Tater. Okay. <laughs> And now she's hacked my ad, uh, our Slimepedia. Okay, so we have normal mode and hard modes. So let's take a look here. Oh dear. Okay. Okay. Uh, we, how do we fire the electricity at them then? Okay, is this a... Okay, sparks are the quiet... Uh, they, they are quick. Yeah. Okay. 
So they're just racing down a circuit. Uh, oh. Ow. Okay, not stand too much in front of them. Okay, that's a big bunch of them. Out. Um. Are there any other collection spots, or is this a one-time thing each? Okay, that's a one. Okay, uh, how many? Twenty-seven. Okay. A nice little distraction. And what will this give us? Okay, we get two hundred bucks for ten of them. Oh. Okay. So we got 400 from that, and for it still counts to the big one. Okay. Hm. I don't think I'll be doing that often, though. Okay, there's their actual ranch. And... They don't seem to have anything <laughs> active. Uh, she's basically just leaving all of the work up to everyone else. Okay. Time to drop these off. And just grab as many vegetables as we can to feed to the Gordos. It's not done. This is done, though. Okay, if we find some ranch slimes, we can also bring those back. Oh dear. Let's see, I'm just checking around. Not you. Okay, the carrots went bad here. So I'm just, I'm just going the long way so we can get as many vegetables as we can. I don't like the huge chewy sound that they do when they eat chicken. Okay. We'll be able to pick up a few more carrots along the way and anyway, that might be enough to satisfy the radiation or the rat Gordo. Just play that red go to the floor, turn it to a nuclear bomb. Bye. -bye. And actually, we still have that other gate over this way. Where is that? Oh, there, there, I think. Or. Yes, uh, that we there's, we still have this area over there. And there's a, there's a third key to be gotten here. Okay. Um. Hmm. That might be locked behind this area here. This is the cave. This is the, the main part of the ranch. That's the meadow. And then we have an area over here that I don't think we've accessed yet. What are you pointing at? Over here, that area we haven't been to yet, I think. I'm pretty sure you the new mouse for you to go over on the mini map, or I mean uh, the last map. Uh, I can see it on the I can see it on my screen and on OBS, but that might be okay. And it's okay. it's uh, it's south. <clears throat> I'm turned to it now with the arrow here, with the arrow on the mini map. The... All right. There's an area over there that we haven't been to yet, I think. Okay. So then let's let's keep looking for more carrots. And we'll explore that place. Maybe there is a gordo that takes veggies there. Okay. Who caffeinated the slimes? <laughs> Yeah, 
over this way. Yeah, we haven't been here before, I think. Or maybe we have? Actually... Hmm. We... We opened this door, so... We have been here once. But I think I might as... I think I may have turned back before we really went anywhere. Uh, cute little idiots. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we have been in here before. And there's the cat Gordo. Okay. Well, I see some chickens nearby. This will at least be a start to beating this bastard. Nom, 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 nom. And then I think there is a teleporter somewhere around here. More carrots the merrier. Again, I have absolutely no idea how to open those treasure pods. Yeah, I would as well. Maybe we need an upgrade of some kind? Maybe. And yeah, this is the meadow, that other er side area that we can't... We might be close to unlocking. I think it was... I think the price was $17.95 to open one. Perhaps. And we probably just got used to uh, some of our money to upgrade our meteor. Yeah. Okay, I hope this out. I hope this will be enough to uh, satisfy the rat slime. And yeah, we've most definitely been here before. And we can use the teleporter over here. We might need, we might actually need a second. We're on the other side now. And yeah, the docks down here. It's, it's a we've seen before. We also don't know what they what we'll get there. Like the cave and the meadow, or whatever it's called, those are certain to give us extra uh, extra spots for uh, our equipment or corrals and such. But. I don't know what the docks might bring. Probably more you know, plots as well, but we'd have to open it up to see. First though, we have a radiation to feed. That sounds concerning. Pull on that. Uh, yeah, I think I might set up a second coop to speed up the chicken breeding. I'm feeling good at some... here. Was it up there? I think there was a rock gordo up there. And the radiation slime somewhere nearby. Yeah, it's filling off my memory that I've already forgotten where the rat slime specifically is. I don't know, we, I, we, we fed... We managed to satisfy the rock gordo, I think. Yep. And then we ran into the, the radiation one. I, was it in here somewhere? That leads up. Yeah, it, it'd be nice if we could mark the map. Actually, no, I remember now. I, it is over this way. Yeah, we could have gotten here quicker by just going this way. But this does allow us to pick up a few of the puddle slimes. Puddle slime. Keep one in your boot and you'll always stay cool, but it's weird. 
Okay, just gather you up. What amount of floors, but we have the space. Time. To use a feet a feet cooler. Let's see, diets, water. And well, since they only survive in water, they'll just constantly make plorts for you, though slowly. Puddle slimes are rare species of slime that live in fresh water pools found on the range. These slimes don't eat fruits, veggies, or meat like most other slimes. Instead, puddle slimes absorb water into the water while they sit on the surface of a pool. Puddle slimes need fresh water to survive and will quickly evaporate if left on any other surface for too long. Puddle slimes aren't risky to manage. They just require a fair bit of maintenance. A rancher needs a pool of fresh water like a pond available for a puddle slime and its plars to sit in as they will evaporate if away from water. Finally, puddle slimes are exceptionally shy and will not produce plorts if they are in close proximity to, uh, to more than three other slimes. Overall, a puddle slime is a better fit for a more experienced rancher, one not still wet behind the ears. Okay, so we only f you can only keep four of these in a single pond, I'm guessing. Let's see, puddle plorts are made almost entirely from an incredible hydro component known by chemists across the galaxy as H2O. <laughs> this compound is used to create an absurdly expensive brand of bottled drinking water that is sought after by the elite back on Earth. While some people argue that there is little difference in taste between it and tap water, those people seriously are not getting it. <laughs> okay, one of you can return to your home. All right. Nope. Bob. Okay. Um. Can you spell me a plate? This what is where the rock was. We'll have to see. For now, though. We have to go through here again. I think this was the moment. I I'm sure I'm gonna regret it to be your dad and I'm right. Or probably a soundtrack surprise. Actually, I'm usually almost always surprised when I'm right on this game. Okay, which direction was the game? It wasn't a cave. So not Very this cool. way. You can find the rat in a cave. Hmm. I think you're getting closer. It should be uh, I it's in here. No. Hmm. Remember? Okay, but now we should have more than plenty. Another one of these derpy things. It should be somewhere around here, I think. Is it in here? I think it was close to. No, we've done a, we've done a circle now. We've done a circle. Hmm. Wait. Oh! The map shows where it is. It means there's a different exit. Okay. Hmm. There's an entrance that's over there, where that we can get to from over there. But that would be a very long jump. Yeah, that's way too far for me to risk it with all of this stuff. So we'll have to go for the other entrance. Okay. Make sure that our power is full. Okay. Go up, come. Ah, uh, yeah, bye. Welcome back. When you're knocked out, you'll rest at least 12 hours in order to recover. If you are not careful, you might wake up to a mob of hungry, unruly slimes on your ranch. Yeah, there goes all of the stuff we'd, we'd collected. Aww. 
At least the pinga would have gone that far. Yeah. And we have a good collection of stuff right back here. So the big the only big loss there was the bubble slimes really. And Okay, it seems that the plots do despawn after a long time. And the price has gone up. Let's wait for it uh, to see if it goes up any further. Oh, they are, they are hungry! Feed them! Feed them! Oh, this place is over full. No, not that. Okay, all but two of the hands, and we have another elder. Okay. One, two... Yeah, that's all of those. Okay, Granny. Oh, Grandpa instead. Enjoy your retirement. And there we go. Nope. No, not you. Not you either. Okay. Fifteen isn't enough. Okay, uh, let's go take a look at our mail. Yeah, oh, it's Bob. The death hike from Casey. Hi, Bea. Do you remember when you took me hiking? I still didn't know how serious you were about the whole outdoor uh, thing then. Your idea of a hike just about killed me. I showed up in normal clothes and shoes, and you were decked out and had a pack and uh, gear. It was a nightmare for me. I think it was around the five mile mark when I, uh, when I was drenched in sweat and ready to collapse that I realized our ideas of fun were two different things. Also, you weren't even out of breath then and I still totally hate you for that. Okay. And uh, hello from Bob. Hello, hello, hello chickens. Hello chickens, chicken, hello Bob's PS chicken. Okay. Called it. And Miles again. The other ranchers won't shut up about you and it's starting to get annoying. So let's see what all the fuss is about. I'd like to talk business with you, so I went ahead and activated the spare teleporter in that horrible cave you call it a ranch expansion. Okay, this is basically telling us of uh, well, the mini game. Okay. Let's see then. We have the teleporter over there, so let's go get that. Once we're back, I assume that the price of the crystal plots will have gone up a bunch more, and yeah, the, the fruit have fallen from the tree. So now it's just a free for all for who gets some. Okay, that puts us here. Can we finagle our way back up? Okay, let it recharge. Instead of just uh, blindly charging forward and jumping with it empty. Like last time? Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, we forgot to, uh, to upgrade our gear as well. Yeah. Okay, there should be an entrance there somewhere here. Ah, there it is. There's the opening. Okay. Ah, dance, tar. <laughs> okay. Let's start off with these. Oh, oh. Okay, as we feed it, it gets bigger, and so does its effects. Uh... 
there we go. That was easy enough. And hello, all of you. Yep. Okay, my little light blinds. There we go. Another key. And you were saying? Where do you suppose to grab a few hard times? Yeah. We are going to throw these in with the phosphorus to make, well, flying nightlights. Oh no. One has to not run out I don't think we actually checked if... Okay, I'll bring one stony hen along. I think the... the I think the Largo Slams should still give big, you know, the big uh, uh, double re floors if you feed them one of their favorites. So we can check that with the Stony Hen. First, now though. Uh, oh, hello. It's the no decoration. Okay. We'll, we'll seriously have to figure out how to open those treasure pods. Hmm. Oh well. Let's see. Which After is the way back? Okay, and... Nothing hidden here. Your teleporter, go. But we have a key, and there should be a door here, or... Actually, no, where, did, where is all of this leading? Have we been here before? I think we have. There we go, another door. But we have only one key, so let's uh, use that for a door that's closer to home. And what's over here? Water. <laughs> another slime stack. Boing. Okay. Oh. This, I think this is the one we entered it through. Okay, a bunch of stony ends. And that's that. Just a little uh, hidden breeding area. Okay. Something went boom behind us. I think you drop a grenade. This isn't Call of Duty. <laughs> hmm. I, I'm sure I've never played Call of Duty. Maybe before at the friend's house and I hated it. Yeah, it isn't for everyone. It is very popular along, amongst most people, but most people isn't all people. Yeah. I think I recall people finding me weird for not liking the Medal of Honor and the Bob Speaking. Oh, I see it. That path is all the way for if you fall down there. Okay. Ah. Now, let's be a bit more careful with our energy. Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah, we should. That probably should be one of our first upgrades trilogy. Yep. And let's see. I'll chuck the ranch slimes in here first. Oh no! Just go ahead and breathe. We'll get plenty more of those. And there we go already. Okay, that 
that is a <laughs> that is a lot of floors. Yeah, we can well. Okay, you all have fun. Run! Run, nobody wants a taste of meat! This isn't their favorite, but it will keep them happy for now. Hap not happy enough to not explode, apparently. And yeah, let's clean this place out. Oh, we uh, no, we don't. Okay. Uh, um, okay. Yeah, they're all sated. Okay, so if I leave one hen in there, if we retreat, if we return, we should return to two plorts of both types. Okay, 49 on those. Puddle slime has gone down. Boom slime has gone down. Hmm. Okay, let's at least clear out the collectors. And yeah, after this, we're immediately upgrading. I want to sell these things when they're high in price. Not sure what we could build here just yet. Maybe it actually let's set up the second coop here. Wait, are you gonna see something there going on? Hmm? I wonder can you select slot the whole thing up and down? On the silo? On the what? The silo. It uh, looks no, like it's it supposed to be able to switch oh. up and down fast. Oh. <laughs> okay. It looks uh, like that. Well, it seems we have we have plenty more stores than I thought we had. Okay, I I I never thought of that. I I thought that as well, but then you bought an offer. I think I want to do the all of you one of just just switch between the blocks. Okay, we're going to practice a bit of segregation with these. Actually, let's not spend on that yet. Um, yeah, seventy ninety-five. Okay. And we have all of this available. Uh, well, what's right around here? Do you just waste all the money that we were supposed to use for upgrades? Sort of. But yeah, this place has free roaming chickens. And its own grow little growth parts, patches. So nice. we could move the tabbies over here, probably, or basically anything that that likes chicken or meat. Are those trees on the walls? Yeah. Big berries. We've seen those around. Uh, <laughs> we've seen those around a bit, and yeah, now yeah, we. Yeah. Finally, have an open access from here to the base. Yeah, I was still expected to be in our base itself. Free food. Let's see. The docks is an expansion onto the ranch that repurposes a cozy little lookout along the waterfront. This expansion offers a few extra ranch patches flanked on several sides by, with fishing nets. Nets can be used to temporarily catch escaped slimes or as a means of creating. Uh, physical college of slime because it's fun. It also houses a natural wellspring allowing you to fill your tank with unlimited fresh water or for a few puddle slimes that prefer a natural place to soak. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, 
5,000 though. Yep, all good. Getting the mood on. Okay. Well, yeah, we can we can move the pinkies over there. They'll feed themselves. Actually. Yeah, you're going to pick them in your gun, don't you? If I aim high, do they land over there? I'm not... And, yeah, confirmed. Let's see if any of these landed over there. If not, we'll just have to make new ones. No, that's two misses. And no, still none of them landed. Okay, all of you in there. Hmm. It might be, be better to. It might be better to get something else carnivorous here. Uh, and mix them with tabbies, since, well, they, these chickens should keep them well fed. Hopefully. Oh, won't, it won't satisfy them as much as the stone hens, but still. It'll keep them out of our hair, and uh, more importantly, it'll keep them out of the coops. And yes, they are making cat noises. <laughs> All right then. God. Question is, what are we going to put in here then next? Don't the don't explode. We could put the rock slimes in there. Let's see, how's the price of the boom slack bullets? 45. Transplorter. That, I guess that's probably for a... Uh, get a certain amount. Wait, this red uh, slime is very valuable the moment. Yeah, we can go in here and check up on the... the festivities. And hello. It's gonna be... You know, a bunch of over here, but... How did you eat to get... Okay. Okay, we just have to be careful not to... ...stay too close. Yeah, good luck. And it doesn't... Yeah, there's no rats lords at the moment, since they've all been eating those. Oh. Now, we might need to uh, lower the population a bit. Why not just okay. feed them some more? Alright. Jade's just, just... I'm pretty sure these were 72 before, but yeah, 49 will have to do by net for now. And then we'll buy some upgrades, because even though I said I, we were going to do that immediately, I still forgot. that it updates the prices at midnight and that caused the price to drop further but still not enough for us to not care okay but the red flying price went up quite a bit 
Yeah. Still, it, the Plurge will have to survive the free-for-all in there first. Let's see. Pulse Wave. Pushes away slime where you need, you need a... Okay. 20% less energy. Let's get that just for in case. More energy. 40 units. And might as well get the water tank. And, well, the rest. Okay, make a splash. A blast of fresh water will calm down any slime for a short while or dissolve those terrible tarm slimes. A water the water the garden's crops also grow faster. Okay. Alright. Hey, I knew you could use water to defend yourself, but I did not know you could use the gardening. It was like 10. Okay, these were the rat slime's favorite, I think. Which means that we do we have somewhat doubled up with these. Wait, wouldn't that mean it'd be a good idea to make a potato farm in here? Yeah. So let's see if we can still save one of these. Garden, purchase, there. And yeah, you can see how quickly you can get you, know, <clears throat> you can get money once you start going with this. And there's the rat supports. Now we just have to stop <laughs> prevent getting hugged by the little light lights. Hola. There's probably a radiation and resistance upgrade somewhere later on if we get exposed enough. But let's avoid sterilization for now. Yeah, I think that is. It is time for a 10, but I would prefer to repair. Right. I'm still running. Yep. It does restore quickly enough after a, a bit of a pause like that there. Okay, there's still some more rat plorts. And this is more like a ending to a, a zoo's animals. Where are you roaming animals at that? Yeah. Okay, those plorts will give us a bunch more. Ow. Okay, we could probably put a feeder on these guys. Actually, you eat these as well. Okay. 60, 30, so that should give us about 180. Yep. Or 1800. Someone ha wants to trade. Uh, let's see, feeder is here. Getting <laughs> too high. Okay, these will just shoot in here. Actually, we can. Once we get another odd onion, we'll just switch. We'll just swap this out. With those, uh, let's see. Who is calling? <laughs> Chicken, <laughs> Bob, <laughs> a bunch of slimes in a trench coat. Oh, we did it! Let's see, do we have a spare rooster? Wait, what was the reward? Uh, we'll see in a bit, because that should be the request. A bunch of well, lords, okay. The reward. Oh, I wonder if the game was shaking it in the reward. There we go. Yeah, uh, just a bunch of plorts and some fruits. Yeah, right. And you only need one more chicken. Uh, let's leave these be for now. To ensure that we have some chickadoos before we start pulling out them. We start pulling yeah, them out. Are chickens? Yeah, those, these are the normal chickens over here. Oh. 
Oh, and it's done. Works pretty quickly. Alright then. Remove crops. There we go. And there you go. We need one more hen. We'll just have to find him somewhere. Now we have no... <clears throat> we have fireworks in the background. But we have no uh, mail to read. Oh, you mean actual fireworks? Yep. Yeah, some jackasses have been setting that off. Yoga with the slimes again. Nope. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep it at two just to make sure that there is a good amount of chicks coming in. Okay. Okay. Back to your retirement. <laughs> Boing. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Uh, this will be shorter. Actually, this is the direction wind dates the cats are, so... <laughs> if they start wandering around a bit much... Uh, yeah, the retirees might run into the Largos. Nom 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 nom. going to collect some rock slimes, see what I'll mix them with. Maybe, maybe I'll make rock, maybe I'll, maybe I'll make rock tabby Largos. Maybe not. Let's get back through here again. And we're back here. Okay. That'll do for the request. And over with these, we can fill our water tank. Okay. That should help deal with any angry slimes or tar. And that note should notify angry slimes in the area. Or not. Okay. And then we can finally open this door. Oh, no. <laughs> the symbol on the door is even just a bunch of happy slimes. On the other side of the moss it? blanket. Nope. Let's see. <laughs> like a flower blooming from a rocky crack, this emerald expands hints at what could be. The moss blanket is an island covered in a thick layer of moss where flora grows wild in great tangling knots at every turn. The high walls of the cliffs surround the island and its great canopy of trees allow for sea mists to pass in and become trapped, creating a unique climate within the otherwise arid range. The slime primarily found within the moss blanket find jungle-like con <clears throat> conditions perfect. Tabby and boom slimes hunt their prey through the thick nickets with abandon, and honey slimes lounge in the flower beds, eating the great abundance of fruit that can be found at every turn. Okay, I'd forgotten about honey slimes. Ooh, and what the heck is that? Mm -hmm. What the? Ooh, are these crystal. crystals? Yep. Or well, they look to become from a, to be coming from a plant. So. Yeah. And we have another sin slime. Okay, and yes, puddle slimes again. And just it's a slime in the box. Okay. All right, this is an entirely new area to explore. So let's start with right. Well, 
not gonna be here. Just mushrooms, okay? Maybe we could mix the puddle and rock slimes? That would be curious, if they can even be mixed. And here's another door already. I think, technically speaking, all types of slimes should be able to mix. So we'll have to see. The easiest way to find out would be to get our hands on some plorts in the either and trying to feed them to, it, to the other. And yeah, that's a dead end already. So... Okay, those are just stony hands. I remember I thought there was another type of slime. Or not slime, hen. The first time I went exploring the moss blanket, I got stuck here, so I constructed the way out. It's up yonder. Okay. Because, yeah, we can't go out the way we came in. And it looks like this is it, then. Okay, but we need to go in here, so uh, down the slide again. Whee! Okay. Oh, we even have birds here. So there are all the animals in this game. Yep. And it's not just chickens. Okay, dangerous area. Let's see, what have we here? The moss blanket may seem like an ancient jungle of sorts, but the fact is that much of what you see here wasn't even around when I first began exploring the island in this land. At this rate, I reckon it won't be long before this greenway completely overtakes the far far range. Okay, so this has been growing really quick. But, uh, Slime toy. It's a yarn ball. A slimy one. Okay. Let me show you more of those for scratching out. Oh wait, that probably went to heaven with scratching. Yeah. We'll Just try and take that back with us. First... Yeah. First, let's keep exploring a bit. But don't forget the, you know, Aaron. The other slimes want the chicken. Yeah, we have it. There's probably a. There's so far. There's always been a teleport, and there's still one that isn't connected. So it's bound to be here somewhere. And oh, map. Okay. Uh, let the power recharge. And there we go. Let's see. Yeah, there's a teleporter there. Okay. There's still this area over here. I know I've been in the moss blanket before. Uh, wait. Uh, hello. Briarhem. A real wild bird that loves to ram <laughs> ramble in the ramble. Favored by the blue slimes. Briar hens are a chicken variant born from the wild thickets of the far far range. They were first discovered long ago by an explorer who noted that they seem to have a complex tribal structure and a fascinating series of chicken customs. He may even have joined the Briar tribe as an honorary chicken himself. His records end there, however, and we know nothing else about him or his finding. Oh, but his name was Carl, we know that. Did he get eaten by the chickens? Yeah. Briar hens in close proximity to roost trails are the, uh, the same as always. Okay. Then we can probably throw out the old, the normal chickens. Because nothing favors them. Okay. Oh, God. Wait, wait. What is the chicken being eaten? What is. 
flying is too kim for ship gun. Uh, yeah, then he would have had a lot of trouble. I mean, a Largo could probably eat a human. And here's a honey slime. Fruits this time. Okay, we don't have any fruit tree. Well, we have the two berries. But other than that, we don't have any fruit of our own growing. So, yeah, we'll have to start getting that low. Oh, yeah, hunter slimes. And, oh, yeah, nice. I remember that. These little guys go invisible. Wink. Hunt the slime. Never mind the rabbit. Have you seen any chickens? Favorite roostro. The hunter slime is the wild cousin of the tabby slime. A much more capable creature than the playful tabbies, the hunter slime excels at stalking the chickens on the, of the far, far range. The hunter slime's slimeological makeup allows for a natural cloaking ability that renders almost invisible. Their only tell is their giant almond eyes, which can often be seen hovering in the dark. This effect is often despised, they're described by unsuspecting ranchers as ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hunter Slime has keen senses and can de detect its prey from great distances. This makes finding a good location for their corrals challenging. Additionally, the wild nature of the hunter is also passed on to any Largos forms from the plort. Uh, plorts. The newly created Hunter Largo will always be feral. A prepared rancher knows that breeding Hunter Largos can also be done slowly, should always be done slowly, with a few chickens on hand to calm them down. Amazingly, a serum can be made from Hunter, plort as hunter Slime Plorts that can actually render a person invisible. The effect only lasts for about a day, but this serum is nonetheless incredibly popular back on Earth, as many people find its effects very soothing. Sometimes you feel like you just want to disappear for a while, but, it, but then about a day goes by and you realize that not only did you miss being seen, but others missed seeing you too. Aww. Aww. Let's see. I don't think we've checked the rat slimes here. Oka Oka. It's unknown yeah, if rats... Curious. Yeah. I'm curious about what? I'm kind of curious about them. Okay, the rat slimes. It's yep. unknown if slime, if rat slimes, sometimes called raddies, come, came to be from external radiation sources or from something naturally occurring within the far, far rains. Regardless, rat slimes emit such a potent aura of radiation that glow in the dark. The rat slimes radioactive aura can induce rat poisoning in a rancher if they remain within in it for too long. Ranchers are advised to monitor their rat exposure levels when handling these green blobs of gamma goo, as extended exposure can cause serious bodily harm or worse. Given that raddies are basically mobile batteries, it's, not, it's no surprise that corporations value rat plorts for their incredible energy producing capabilities. Most rat plorts get turned into plutonium, and everything from the latest holophone to a rat wave microcook system runs, runs on the stuff. Okay, so it's basically the fallout technology. It's fallout, yeah. Basically, fallout nuclear technology uh, without with a lot less boom. And I don't want to risk this jump. No. Let's not risk that. Briar Chickadoo, just to have the. I see you. Just to have the entry. A breed of chick that's totally bush league. <laughs> Type future meat. Briar chickadoos are baby chickens that will eventually go into briar hen. Da -da -da. Never eaten. Okay, this is the same as the others. Those were about to go boom next to us. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, rush over home before we lose everything to it. Let's first take a look at this so-called... Oh, that's why. Do you see the sign? Okay, that blue water isn't calming them down. Ah, and here we have honey slimes. Okay. 
Um, what have, oh, and a new fruit. And honey plorts. Actually, uh, let's set you out here. Mint mango. Intensely sweet with a cool minty finish. And the stone That's hands we can just get. And yeah, honey slime. Like uh, my, my brother actually developed an alert allergy for mint, or at least peppermint. Oh dear. Let's see, nothing is sweeter than a recently produced plort of honey. And, oh, mint mango is their favorite. Oh, honey I slimes are an odd breed of slime composed of a hyper-sweet slime compound. Most slime scientists believe this to be the result of their slime cells replicating the natural sugars found in the fruit and floral nectars of the far, far range. Most ranchers agree that plort tastes great on cereal. Greatest danger a honey slime poses is found in their plorts. Honey plorts are the sweetest, most delicious plorts known on, on the far, far range. Other slimes can detect them from much further away than a normal plort and will do everything in their means to get them. A rancher with honey slimes needs to be careful with about unintended largos or worse. Okay, I I'm guessing we can stick these guys... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking we mix these guys with uh, tabbies and put them in the meadows. Let's see. Okay. Honey plorts are highly prized by food manufacturers. Though the plorts are naturally incredibly sweet, the discovery that they can be could be further refined into an even sweeter substance made those demands soar. These refined honey plorts are set to score an unprecedented 867 on the Werner Thomkins Hong Sacrino scale, just a few points shy of not fit for human consumption. <laughs> uh. What? So basically, what? it's just short of crack cocaine. Hello, oh, sweeties. Wait, did you throw away the rock hands uh, that you needed? Yeah, the chick, the, the coop nearby, sh the coop at the base should have, uh, should have enough for us when we get back. It, it's, they should have produced some, uh, they should have produced some chicks. Uh, I hope so, and we should probably start working with that. Yeah. Before the timer runs out. Or before you die. Yeah. You can always use more for the coop, and I hear tar. Yeah, run. Normal chicken. There was a boom slime and teleporter back. There, nothing around there. Okay, and poof. Okay then. You get your own little place here. No. Let's see. Okay, a bunch of price drops. And yeah, these were the honey uh, plorts. The heck is that? The magma plort? Maybe? Okay, for now though... Cleaning this place out of the old hens. So no more retirees. Okay, you He wants the roost throw, doesn't he? You'll have to deal with that. Okay. Let's not forget the quest. Yeah, we have some chicks. And there we go. Let's see. We need fruits for the honey slime. Hmm. So 
Let's just hand these in. Only 12. Or no, that's the tabby one. Six, oh, 78. Yeah, that's a good sell. Now then. Get the rest of this up. Next more should Would it be smart to combine honey slime with the hunter slime? Yeah, it, it said in the slime Peter that any largo with uh, from a hunter slime will be feral, so that might be troublesome. Oh. Because they'll try to break out and uh, attack us. Okay, yeah, alright. Hunter slime can be... We should just avoid making Ligos with them. Instead, over oh, here... Yeah. We'll gather these boys up and send them off. Because we can use their plorts to reproduce them, man. It's just running off with the fruit. Okay. Bye bye. And, oh, you went back? And he came back for a last snack. Oh, bye bye. Yeah, he ate a bird with that your face. Oh, alright. Okay, should be, yeah, one more. Okay, Smiley, bye bye. Bye! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, that did get him out of here. <sighs> Freedom! Okay, first off, let's pick another garden. And then we start get cleaning up. Because we don't want them to get these plink, get these yeah, pink plorts, not plink plorts. Oh, what? Okay, another straggler. Oh, come on, that's your severance package. Ah, ah. I can stop doing that voice. Okay. I don't think there's any pink ports around still. Because if there are, these guys will turn into tars instead. Okay. Welcome to your new home. And your new oh, biology. Really? There we go. And we have their favorite fruit growing over here. And they can also go after the chickens. Yeah, fruit and meat. So yeah, we'll be getting plenty of these here. Honey buns. Boing. <laughs> Already uh, doing the kitchen. Well, if there are any pink plorts left here, we'll find out eventually when this place is completely overrun by Tar. Wait. Oh, wait, never mind. They kept a lot of pink. Nope. It's, uh, again, just a reminder that if a Largo gets a plort that isn't of it, either of its types, it'll turn into a Tar. And tours are nasty. Yeah. I think we can remove these. Is it tours are the only slimes that actively tries to eat people? Yeah, these are for the rocks, and we don't have rocks at the moment. And you're still in here. <laughs> also trying to boop me. Okay. See the little Wait, things. Kind of look like Inky. Yeah, Inky is less dark than that. A quick well, new buck. Probably the closest we get to Inky in this game. Oh, earn 5,000 new bucks in a single day. Okay, then. 
we have well, a new you request. Have money. Oh, we okay. We can select now. Uh, Ogden, what do you have? Eating carrots helps you see in the dark. No, uh, it it doesn't really. Okay, five heartbeats, two potatoes, and some carrots. You say no? And yeah, we have potatoes growing in there. We'll just have to save some from the, the night lights. There. I could put those in the feeder. I, I probably should have put them in the feeder. But okay. Now let's empty these out. Okay. Now to grab some potatoes. Uh, okay, just red fields from back to front. <laughs> and why are you all unhappy? There's food here. Oh, oh, there they yeah. go. Now they spotted it. Yes, of course. When they are in the ground like that, they can't eat that. Uh, was it two potatoes? Okay. Let's have five, just to be certain. Okay. See? A hasty exchange. Uh, fulfill a ranch request with between noon and 2 p.m. Oh, okay, just in, in real quick time. Um, have some ex I don't think the cat wants potatoes. <laughs> okay, you lot are not going anywhere. Let's see. Stony hens are the tabby's favorite, I believe. Let's double check. Uh, tabby, yeah, stony hen. Okay, so we can feed those to the, the others there. In the meantime, let's sell these. Price is low, but we just have a good amount of these anyways. So they'll just add up. All right then. Look at the money on now. <laughs> 7,000. Which means that we could go by the docks. There is also the slime scientist area back there. No idea what that might do. And they're just waiting for it to fall off the tree. Okay, just because you are good kitties. Sprinkler and nutrients. And I heard, yeah, I heard you make these. Yep. <laughs> trying to. Yep. <laughs> They're all trying to get at me. But without malice for once. Oh, good God. Okay. Let's double check the map. Okay, we need to be in an area to see how many keys there are or aren't. Okay, we have no need for the heartbeats for the moment. So... Let's just gather these up. There, that should keep them fed. 
Oh, another quest? Oh, offline. Okay. Uh, let's see. We need fruit. We need a lot of fruit. And that's a lot of <laughs> these. Okay, let's just try filling up our tanks with pogo fruit and... How did we miss this? Let's try filling up on pogo fruit, uh, cubeberry, and maybe mint mango. Though we can also just go grab a bunch of floors here still. Yeah, I suspect they have a lot of radiations over there. Yeah. We can also grab a bunch of the berries. I feel I feel like I'm a zookeeper cleaning up an enclosure. Okay, let me out. They mostly keep to the low ground, so maybe we can put up a corral here and here for something else. Maybe put the rock slimes in there. A puddle slime. If that goes bad, though, that can, will go bad real fast. Yeah. Well off rancher. Oh, there's rock slime press us down. A lot. Right. And yeah, that achievement is for making 25,000 new bucks in total. Nothing heck. Oh, don't forget to upgrade. Uh, if there is an upgrade, because I think we bought all of them that were available. Unless more have become available. And actually, we have mail. And yeah, we have everything we have at the moment. Alright. Okay. Ogden Ortis. You seem to be making a name for yourself, and I like your style, so let me cut right to the chase. I'd like to offer you a job doing a little side work for me. I've got a chunk of land on the outskirts of my property that has access to a place called the Wilds, a land of primitive feral slimes and dangerous as all get out, but also home to a delicious rare fruit that I love. If you're up for a challenge, come on down to a little retreat of mine near the Wilds and learn more. I found a derelict teleporter on your network that I've activated on your ranch. It'll take you right to it. Hope to see you there. Okay, so another side game. Not to see me, Jules! Double O! Hmm? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh. Arcton Ortis. Yeah, but you just look like, um... Uh, yeah, but I used to like new whenever you're surprised me. Visit Arnton's retreat. It's obviously you drop working at its retreat and the teleporter near the overgrowth to learn more. Uh, oh, there's... Okay, that's the overgrowth, not the meadow. Okay. Uh, still, we want more pogo fruits. Okay. Why did Alberta start one more of our gardens? That's... That's I, I think they want us to go right there now, like a sort of quest. Okay, it was about to vanish and then it reappeared. Okay, let's just take a look. Okay. Yeah, still blocking the rest off, huh? And again, someone who isn't actually working, it seems. Let's see. Hi, Beatrix. Thanks for coming down to my retreat and hearing me out on my offer. So let's get right into business. To defeat the Huns. Wait, what? Mulan. Reference. Oh. Let's see, I built this place... I built this place years ago as a little vacation spot for myself. Later on I realized that it neighbors a cluster of islands filled with primitive saber slimes. I called these islands the Wilds, and after exploring them, they revealed their true secret, the rare Kukaduba fruits. And he really must like them, it seems. <laughs> What's a Kukaduba? 
why it's only the most delicate, irresistible fruit in the known universe. Well, most people say it tastes like rotten cheese, but they're wrong. Anyways, I soon became obsessed with cuckadoos, uh, but I found myself quickly becoming too old and too slow to deal with the risk. See, the wilds are home to hordes of feral slimes, and the descendants of the ancient saber slimes that once hunted these lands, collecting cuckadoobas is dangerous. That's where you come in. I'll happily reward you for collecting those sweet, sweet uh, cuckadoobas for me. Just deposit them in this custom range exchange here and we're in business. Collect enough of them for me and I'll start by giving you my secret miracle mix for your gardens. I'll also reward you with a block of my special f spicy tofu for every three cuckadoobas. I've activated the teleporter to the wilds here at the retreat and it's now yours to explore as you see fit. Just know that the warp network there is a little buggy. You won't always arrive at the same place, and you'll have to find a working teleporter to make your way back out. It's buggy, I know, just be prepared. Okay, so... Hmm. I'm failing to draw a bit of a comparison at the moment, so let's just jump in instead. Is the Slimey that they have Game Boy? What? And what is what? I saw, the icon, I saw the icon of the Cardinia. And it looked just like a Game Boy. Okay. Oh, and there we have some. It could be. I saw something. Oh, oh hello there. Hunter slimes. Ow. Yeah. I don't want the hen. What are you? Well, that cost us one of those. More mail, more hunters. Uh, let's not go over waters. Uh, bad timing, Casey. Okay. Ow. Okay. Don't want you. Even, oh, come on now, even Taurus. Uh, we have four. Ow. I see one over there. I see one over here. And yeah, as you can see, Taurus outright eat other slimes. And there's one. Yeah. Six. Seriously, what are these? They aren't for depositing these. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we need to find a working teleporter somewhere. Is that slime water or normal water? I think it's slime water. And <laughs> lighting change all of a sudden. We have a bunch of angry. Do they actually have saber teeth? Yes, <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this isn't natural. Alright then, Freedom. one, two, three. And it gives us this spicy tofu. It never quite fills you up. Okay. Let's see at the new stuff. This spicy tofu is made from Arnton's own secret recipe. Light, silky, and with a spicy kick, it is enjoyed by any slime 
though none would call it their favorite. Best of all, if a slime is hungry, they are always willing to eat more. It's almost as if tofu isn't a real food at all. Spicy tofu can be planted, only fed the slimes. Okay. I'm not really seeing the full use of it then, I'm guessing. But I might just not be thinking of uh, what that use might be. Yeah, you have to be crazy to collect these things. Favored by Ogden Ordis. Kukaduba are known as the king of fruits by their enthusiasts, which include the Jolly Gourmand Ogden Ordis. Ortis. However, harvesting can, them can be quite perilous as they only grow in the feral domain of the wilds. Worse, the Kukaduba smells and tastes horrible to most palates, with most who tried it reporting it has the flavor of stinky cheese meets stinkier cheese. Okay. The garden's replicator will reject it. Right, I'm, I'm guessing the spicy tofu can be used to force out a few past uh, lords from a slime. Actually, yes. Usually they'll be satisfied for a while. Like you can see that one is going to eat. And then when we... Yeah, it won't eat until it uh, gets hungry again. It's stealing stuff. I'll take this batch. And if we fire them, this at them. Yeah, they'll eat it. They'll give plorts. And they'll eat more. Okay. These might be a little more useful for very expensive slimes. Or very expensive plorts. So maybe I sort of wasted them there, but I don't really care. At least we got them tested. Yeah. Mm, I'll throw it into the silo for now. In the meantime, let's get our ease up. I could probably invest in all of the stuff now. So let's put a music box in here. And yeah, the solar shield. We, we don't really need that since all of the phosphor slimes are in there. Yep. Let's put that on there as well. And we might as well put those on. Can I... I actually got it. Well done. And two in a row. Okay, boom slimes prefer you guys. So you will actually be a better or more steady fuel food source for these. Back in there, little guy. You and you and you go in here. Um, not too much use of the stony ones at the moment. Oh, hello, we have something new. <laughs> Victor, it hasn't been a bit. It's been a bit. Are rice slimes natural evolution or result of exposure to foreign matter? Uh, well, they don't want those, they want these. Okay. So, four crystals and one puddle. Okay. First two. Buck, buck, boga, but... Uh, feed 100 chickens to slimes on the ranch. Okay. Okay, now that's time to take off them. Oh shit, I don't think we can fit any more of the Largos in there without them without risking them exp yeah. Getting out. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, this was making that noise. 
for a moment I stopped what the hell the sound did the, <laughs> the hunter slime make there. Hello. Goodbye. Alright then. Uh, email. Let's see. Face again, the van. It wasn't that bad. You just don't have the fortitude to make it as an artist, I guess. Beatrix Levio can climb a mountain before breakfast, but can't spend a few days in a um, modestly accommodated, accommodated breakstone only half the time vintage touring van. You were so miserable, I still laugh about it. But I really did appreciate it for those few days. It was great to have you in the crowd. The van still runs, by the way. P.S. There was a lie. The van literally caught on fire while we were driving it. It died like a Viking. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. Actually, that gave me an idea. Maybe you said they were making a second game of this game? Yeah, they were making a sequel. What if the sequel is about Beatrix and Casey? I wouldn't mind if this game became multiplayer. Or yeah, but this had option. It could be cute to see them together. Yeah. Okay. Just hunting out for some fruits. And most of them have already been eaten. Let's see. Q-berry, mint, mango, and pogo fruits. Yeah, if we if we have a good amount of these, we should be able to feed the, the honey slime. Actually, not that we're in here. There is still one more key around here somewhere. Where could it wait, be? Wait. Wait, I think I know. I think I know. Hmm? I checked under the rug. Okay, we've had one here. We have had one... I, again, you can't see the mouse, but the stream should be able to. We've seen one near here, in the middle of the map. We've seen one there. So that should make led to believe that there's something here. Though, actually, we've never... Have we gotten far in, in there? Sure. I, think we, I think we've blown it off after this second bend or something. Okay. More fruits. Let's see. I don't think we've actually gone farther than here. Because we didn't know that this was here. Hello. And I'm guessing this is going to lead to another... Uh, Gordo. For a moment there, I'd forgotten the name of the of them. Let's see. It's a lot of chickens. Yeah. This leads back. Actually, just to be sure, in case this Gordo is going to be a carnivore. Yeah. Okay, a little glitched. Hmm. Okay, no Gordo. Curious. Hmm. There should be something around here. Because there's still one more key that we haven't gotten our hands on. Hmm. Let's see. Wait. Okay, that is... We haven't been here before. Okay, but how are we... How are we supposed to get here normally? Oh, I oh I see. Okay. Did we just take the long way around? Yep. 
Wait, 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 wait. That's not fine. Yeah. Another danger zone. There would there be chickens. Chicken pirates. So they saw something back there. Oh, tabby, rock, rock tabby. And it's angry. Are they all angry? Yep. Ow. Oh, that, that's dealing a lot of damage. Uh, how, where is the way out? Actually, you have that. You. That's going to land with a crash. Yeah, good thing that I gathered these, huh? Yeah, that still doesn't answer where the Largo... Not the Largo, the Gordo should be, so... Somewhere up here. Okay. Hmm. What's here? Okay, this is a bit of a longer jump, but we have 200 power. Yeah, more than enough. Hello, night. Oh, it's another slime toy, and I just realized that we forgot the yarn. The <laughs> what? The the yarn ball, the other slime oh. toy that we found. Okay, yeah, now I get it. This is going quite a distance. We location the slime sea. Okay, well, at least we know that that Tori is here. Hmm. Oh, wait, I just remember. I think there's something I want to mention. Okay, let's take a little look then in a bit. And this counts as the ranch. Wait, did, did we just find a back axe entrance to the... Yeah, we did. And I think that cloud is obscuring it, but yes, that is a mouse, that is an eye, and there's there's an eye behind. Yeah. <laughs> the moon is also a happy slime. <laughs> a jar of slimes. That doesn't answer where that third key is, though. You have a lot of rug slime uh, things uh, to pick up. Yeah. It... <laughs> yeah, you don't need to throw out that many for once, Hunter Slime. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to find out some other time then. Because it doesn't seem to be in here. Unless I completely missed it. Hmm. So does, does that area count as this as well? Because that if there's a if there's a gordo over there somewhere. Oh hell uh, never mind, there it is. And we just found a, a purpose for you guys again. You can have one. I'd completely forgotten about the freaking Tabby Gordo. Actually, it'll be easier, quicker to go this way. Uh, and what I, I mentioned that thing like twice before earlier in the stream. Yeah. I thought, I thought, I knew about cat, but you still know you were looking for something else. Yeah, we were looking for a Gordo in that other area, but there was just, well, it wasn't a Gordo there. Let's see. Yeah, 
this probably won't say it. But we can at least yeah, work towards that. Yeah, what you don't like. Okay. Do you not like them or did I just... Okay, you do eat them. I just missed its mouth. Because it's too late to even lean a little bit. You bounce from his head, literally. Okay. Let's have a look. Yeah, straight ahead here, and then over there. Okay, just gather as much fruit as we can find. Because it's better to have too much fruit than too little. And yeah, we are running close on 2 hours and 40 minutes. So after we fed the, uh, the honey, then uh, let's call it. Yeah, I'm getting sleepy here. <laughs> and we do have a, another stream tomorrow again. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Oh, the, oh, these... These harmless... Oh, ow. Harmless, you said? Yeah, the, these areas haven't had the angry slants before because they're phosphorus largos. So they don't come out during the day. All right. Technically, this place is probably should have been the second area, or the, the first area that we've sort of unlocked. But uh, yeah, we went for the rocky area instead. Okay. This way. Ow. And then it's over here, I think. Shouldn't it be marked? See, we have a big tree there. We did, we saw it, and we know that this logger is here because of that marking. So where is the marking of the logger over here? Hmm. It should be right over there. And that's a new health module up for sale. Maybe it won't appear until you found it once. Yeah, but we, we saw it earlier, and it should be right around the corner here. Oh. Or maybe I didn't get too close. Maybe, maybe I should have... No, I think we... Did we feed it something? I don't think no. we actually did. So we let's didn't. just... Let's see. Does it show up now? Now it does. Okay, you need to feed them something before they are marked. Okay, get rid of all of that and gather all of you up. And key, you get back here. And that's another 10 honey slimes and another key. No. Uh, uh, we could we could do that jump, but uh, not now. Now we need to get out of here. Uh, Fast for Tabby. Okay, now we have some more slimes to add to the overgrowth. So we can get even more tabby and honey. Uh, <clears throat> yep, loud motor. So we can get even more tabby and honey ports. And nice little placing of this thing. Do you see this thing? So you want to get up to it, and from that you know how to get out. Because previously, I remember. You could only get out of this place by getting to the very end of it, where there would be a teleporter. Oh. 
Okay. And then there we'll be able to use the teleporter over here. Just ahead where the, the first tabby and Gordo was. And we can use that to get back home quickly. And all of the phosphors are gone. Okay. And immediately plants us here. Okay. Get to eating. Okay. Then where is the neck? I believe... Yeah, there should be a door somewhere here for us to open. Actually, exactly there, I think. So, yeah, next week we'll be entering this last area, I'm guessing. I have... I've never seen what would be here. I've only... Have, in previous versions of this game, I've only been in here and here. And back then, these areas were a lot smaller as well. So, yeah, we'll be discovering what this area is together. Nice. But for now... Oh, we yeah. also got the, the doctor's uh, mission. Ah, yeah, crystal and uh, water. We need, we need to put up a, a pond somewhere still. Not over there, though. Maybe we can move all of these plants over there. Or all of the farms over there. But... For now, though, uh, th thank you for watching, Laksana, and anyone else who... And as always, special thanks to you, the Kier. You're also welcome, my friend. And, yeah, tomorrow, something Sunday, we'll be trying something again. And... <clears throat> yeah. Next week, we'll be continuing with Singularity. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that game has probably been the most fun I've had with a game in months, possibly. <laughs> but, yeah. As always, until then, until then. Be safe, folks! <laughs>